You're listening to The Andres Segovia Show. The regularly scheduled program for The Andres Segovia Show has been postponed for a day. So please tune in tomorrow, Tuesday, to tune into the latest episode of the program. If you have not already heard, you should have heard by now since it's been almost 24 hours since the news broke. Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna are among nine dead in a helicopter crash uh, that occurred around 10 a.m. Sunday morning. And it is because of this sad and shocking news um, that I know a lot of people in the area since we're, you know, Angelinos, even though I live in Orange County, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. While I was never exactly a basketball fan, um, I was very familiar with uh, the Lakers, obviously, because those around me were all into it. Uh, it's just he was an all-around legendary player, but it's more so than just that, as he was also a larger-than-life character that was even bigger outside the world of basketball. So it wasn't just that, oh, it's just some other random person or a celebrity passing. This was someone that uh, contributed a lot to the community at large, both in and outside basketball. Uh, and he had footprints literally both in Los Angeles and Orange County, uh, being someone that lives near Newport Beach, to be able to basically go on a boat or stand on the on the shores of the excuse me, to the peninsula, of Abo Peninsula, and be able to say, hey, look, uh, that's Kobe Bryant's house for um, any visiting family from overseas that wanted to see, hey, where does Kobe Bryant live? And be able to point out that that's where Kobe Bryant lives is it, you would know that this was someone that had a presence in the city and just looking at uh, some family photos because i asked a family member of mine to send over his photo to just casually taking a picture with uh, kobe as uh, they bumped into each other at uh, the fashion island um outdoor mall in newport beach you know it's just it was just that that kind of individual um who was just welcoming so uh, it's out of respect for for him out of also, the loss that are being mourned, not just by fans, but Angelinos and the sports world. It's, I, I have to say, um, when I got the notification uh, through through the wire, because I do follow a lot of wires, when I saw that come in, I'm like, that's got to be a typo, especially since TMZ is reporting it. But uh, I, as soon as I saw the, the news confirmed just a, a minute or two later, I, I was trying to post it on Facebook, too, to share with the family and friends. And like, hey, look, look, this actually happened. Facebook was blocking me because I'm assuming it was the fake news filters that were blocking me. But as the news finally sunk in and word started spreading, it, it's, it was hard to ignore. And then people reaching out to confirm, it's like, like for this, is this for real? And it just uh, on an overcast, a gloomy day, uh, this news transpired and out of respect for the Bryant family um, and to also all of those that uh, uh, that lived in Los Angeles and for the fans of, of the team and the player and the person and to knew and for those that knew who this actually was um, I am postponing for a day um, out of respect for the family so I hope you can also respect that as well and please tune into the program tomorrow as I'll, I'll be interviewing someone about things that we're able to control in our lives that we can help improve for ourselves. But uh, as this news is a reminder, uh, we can't control everything. And just count your blessings, tell those that you love that you love them, and just live without regrets. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>